the stage at which people lose out on becoming like Christ in the different areas of their life, it always starts from when the sower sowed seed. The sower that sowed the seed is the Son of Man. That's what scripture is saying, Matthew 13, when Jesus was interpreting it. That sower. But you and I know that Jesus doesn't come here and stand and preach sermons to you. You have not gone to any church group where Jesus showed up. Peace. And began to preach. He always used people. As the spirit of Christ in that person signifies. And you receive it. Then the seed is sown. For many, many people. After that seed was sown. That was the end. It was never watered. Who knows what happens to a seed that never encounters moisture. Okay, Bim says it rots. Sometimes it doesn't rot, sometimes it just stays there. Whenever I dig it out, the way you put it, that's why I did. I'm here for you. Achieving nothing. Nothing changes. You know what happens whenever someone goes to a place and hears the truth? A truth for the first time. Every time you hear a truth for the first time, that's the planting of the seed. Every time you hear more about it, that's watering. And it grows. And it grows. When it comes out and hits the sun, do you know what the sun is? Persecution. All of this is in Matthew 13. You can go read it. When you are tried for the word, when that word, that particular word, you receive, that new thing you learned, when it is tried, when you have reason to doubt it, contrary to what you're seeing, you have heard, you have received it, then you have had it watered, reinforced in your heart. You have been shown evidence over and over again from scripture. And then reality steps in. The sun shining. You're no longer under the earth where it's cool and dark and... Where it's, you know, like moisture field and all that. Just there. Uh, it's not dry, it's not warm, it's just there. And you're in such a situation. Uh, and let me even say also dark, you know. You're not suffering the pain of sunlight in your eyes. And it's just there all night. It's growing. The growth has begun. But when it hits the surface, boom. And God says it's time for the sun. Did you know it is the sunlight that enables the production of chlorophyll? Which more or less is what the plant needs. Plants without sunlight don't thrive. They don't do well. The plants were made. Who, who doesn't know here that plants need sunlight? Without sunlight, bad crop, if there's any crop. Who, who, who didn't know here? So all of you know. Did all of you also know that the Bible says that when the sun comes up, and he now says, when Jesus interpreted, he says, these are persecutions. When people receive tribulation for the sake of the word. In other words, tribulation is required for your fruit to grow. I think we should read it. In case there are some doubtful. A few doubtful people. That are not yet sure that God would want you to go through tribulation. Why should you go through tribulation? God forbid. It's not my portion. I will never go through tribulation. Tonight, will you ever experience fruitfulness in your life? You will not bring forth the will of God in you also. That's the way it works. Matthew 13, verse 18. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not, then comes the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his heart. This is he who received seed by the wayside. The wayside seed is the equivalent of the seed which never sprouted at all. Do we agree? It, it's, the, the scripture says it snatched away. The birds ate it. The, you had a message preached and it fell to the ground and that was its end. It never changed shape before it was swallowed up by the devil. The devil. How does the devil take away seed? You, you hear and then you throw away everything. You hear it, you've heard it, you heard it said, um, don't do this, or, or do this. And then you walk away from there, and you do nothing with what you heard. You have no time to nurture that seed. 
and you drop it in a place it cannot possibly germinate. I hope you know there are places where things cannot germinate. If you place a seed of corn on this floor, will it ever grow? If a mouse does not eat it, or a bird, or any other creature, someone crush it. If you drop it here, and because seeds can be amazing, some of them, you know seeds can live for hundreds of years almost. It's a fantastic thing. In the right environment, the seed can just stay dormant. Just there. Until it smells moisture. And the right circumstances. And it sprouts. That's the power of a seed. You know the way that works in human beings' lives? Is that they can hear something. So let's say you go to some church. Maybe a church like ours. And you hear a new thing. Or two or three. And you don't hear it again for a very long time. You're not anywhere where such things are said. Therefore, it receives no watering. And neither do you study your Bible. You refuse to go out and get water to come and pour on it. Okay? So it's not received water. I hope you know you can water anything that has been planted in you. You can water it. Did you know that? Oh, yes. Just go and study that thing thoroughly. You water it. So don't even say it's until someone waters it for me. You may not be very good at getting water yet. I agree. So it's wise to hang around those that can help water it. 